just like that. The journey begins heading out to Ben Gurion Airport, 6 a.m. Flight is at 10 a.m. Um, looking forward. Uman Rosh Hashanah 2019. <laughs> Alright, so I've made it to the airport. What's awesome about traveling to Uman is that there's just Jews everywhere. So we have a beautiful uh, minion for Shafris on the train here from Jerusalem. And then I'm gonna check in, hang out by the gate. See you there. Come on, baby. Okay, I may have just discovered the coolest clock in the game. Check it out. <laughs> Kishin up Moldova, met up with this pepper on the plane. Yeah, you know how it is. The guy in the bracket, I'm not out, not out, not out, not out, not one step closer to the baby. I'm not out, 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 be visiting a new country without tasting some beer. Oh, that's some nice IPA. Wow. Oh, that's good. Wow. Time, time. Welcome to the second pub of the night. The <laughs> gate <laughs> Oman bound, Oman bound, Oman, Oman, Rosh Hashanah, Oman. Look at this car, 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 car. second about the concert it just concluded um, some incredible acts but top, topping them all like to a whole new level was Adi Ron put on one of the best acts of music put on one of the best sets that I've seen and check out some of that footage <laughs> sure about coming to Oman like I got some information from a friend of mine a friend of a friend and like 
he was telling me this stuff and I was like, yeah, maybe put it to the back of my mind. And then I went to the Maldives uh, on a boat trip, surfing boat trip. And like towards the end of the trip, we're in like a super remote island and we went ashore uh, to check out the island. And on this island, I, I saw these guys with like long beard and tit tit and pay us. And I was like, you guys are breast love. And they're like, yeah. And I go, I say to them, you're going to Umman? They're like, yeah. And they told me you should come. And then the next day I met a guy surfing with a big long white beard in, in, in the waves. And I said to him like, are you, are you breast love? And he's like, yeah. I said, are you going to Umman? He said, yeah. And he said, you should come too, like to Rabina. And I said, that's got to be a sign, you know? All that way, all that way you know, in the Indian Ocean. And like the only Jews I meet were two breast love Jews and like, Boom, so here I am. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a story. <laughs> what a <laughs> yid l'chaim, l'chaim tov mosham. It's such a zechus to be surrounded by such holy people. I find that to be the most powerful experience of coming here to spend uh, Rosh Hashanah in Uman Eitzel Rabbeinu HaKadosh. It's just such a kvutza of holy, holy yid l'chaim l'vracha. <laughs> Shoshana was incredible, an energy that's really hard to give over. Um, whole experience is super powerful. So many Jews that are like-minded and trying to connect. Um, it's been a really incredible experience here. Really, really kind of beyond words. I recommend it to anyone who, uh, any man who feels like it. It's 1.30 a.m. around, we're heading out. This is where the journey is gonna get a little wild. Heading out to Mezhibush, to the Baal Shem Tov. Heading out to Mezhibush, to the holy, holy Baal Shem Tov, the master of Hasidus. I'm excited to show you Mezhibush. All right, see you on the journey. Random rest stops in the middle of nowhere to follow the crane on the way to the Bash. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> He's saying too much pressure. Is it magic? Welcome to middle of nowhere, Oko gas station. <laughs> Here in the Ukraine, they have very beautiful gas, gas dispensaries. Our driver needs a 10 minute nap. So we're tripping. Good morning, good morning. We're still on our way to Mezhbush, about an hour away. Looks like we missed Nate's there, but um, about, see you later. <laughs> okay, Chevre. Boker Tov, and welcome to stop number 542. Welcome to Mezzy Bush, and he's hitting him. Yeah. You'd be feel silly. Yeah, yeah. You'd feel silly. This is the Mayan? This is the Mayan. Yeah, it's the Mayan. Mayan and Beige. A little old midwife. Huh? He got over to the Mayan of the Bash. Sitting here on a bench outside the um, the Mayan, the Mikveh, the, like the springs of the Baal Shem Tov. It's supposed to be really cold. 
excited to go in, trying to build up some of the uh, energy to go in. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I always get nervous before a cold mikveh. Chaim Mubracha. See you on the other side. I'll let you know how it is. There's a shark in the mikveh. I'm about to give you unprecedented access, being that the mikveh is currently empty. I'm going to show you around. This is the actual mikvah. I have no idea how new this whole infrastructure is, but it makes it incredibly easier. It's freezing cold. I just went in. Um, absolutely incredible experience. Um, yeah, let's head to the actual uh, grave site. Uh, holy bash. This awesome Mayan of the Baal Shem Tov is actually about a half hour drive away from the gravesite of the Baal Shem Tov. So we're heading there now. I'll see you there. All right, we have arrived at the holy, holy gravesite of the holy, holy Baal Shem Tov. There's this incredible, um, just kosher food available at in Mezhbush, uh at the Bosanto. Apparently, always, literally costs twelve dollars for like an all-you-can-eat breakfast. Most worth the thing being that I'm gonna be uh, not back in Israel for the next 24 hours. So this is like my uh, pre-fast meal. <laughs> And who knew our driver is a cash dealer as well. Involved what an incredible time, a couple of hours we were able to spend here in Mezhbush at the Holy Baal Shem. And we're heading to the airport and uh, I'll see you there. We got the Holy Holy Bash Cups. We are midway on our trip from uh, Mezhbush back to Kiev. This, this Holy Yid is going to make his flight. We all know it. We all know it. Anyway, L'chaim, L'chaim Mubracha. I want a journey to continue to be a safe journey. I want to bless all of the viewers of this imaginary audience for this vlog. L'chaim, L'chaim. And I'm back at you with another L'chaim. Still on the road to Kiev. This, this year's going to make his flight. We all know it. <laughs> All right, so a little update over here. Basically, the Sadiq who, who is like bugging out about his flight, his flight got delayed, so we have time. So we just decided to stop on the side of the road. Um, thank you, Hashem. It's going to be fun. The adventure continues. Man plans, God laughs, stop planning. He's so stark. He's so stark. All right, so behind me is the Chabad of Kiev. Just stopped here, it's dropped off the other Chabra, taking a taxi now to the airport, heading to Kishinev. See you there. Ready? All right, made it to the airport. Got enough time for my flight, Baruch Hashem, uh, to Kishinev. <sighs> okay, so I'm in the airport past security, checked in, and I had to get myself a beer. Um, because I got a little bit messed over. I don't even want to go into details. I it in here with my guitar. Step one is complete. They didn't make prompts to check in. Mainly because I hit it by the guy behind me, a kind enough Israeli, so they didn't see it. Uh, we'll see what happens when I get on the plane. They're probably gonna bug out. 
so I hope that goes well. Uh, and you charged me because of the late check-in. Um, Mini is on the way back. That one? Gotcha. Fine. Big update that I literally cannot make up. Um, everyone lined up to board like regular 7.45. Uh, everything's running smoothly. And then Pitom, literally everyone's like lined up right there. And they're just like, nope, the flight's delayed until 10 o'clock. It's currently like seven, delayed by three hours. Just like that. Lama, Kasha. All right, so I'm currently past where I pack, like scan my morning pass. There's the time. I low key like hid the guitar under the desk. I'm hoping I can get on the plane with it. I might have to gate check it still. But uh, things are looking up. This was the craziest experience in the airport. Really an absolutely um, powerful experience. Experiencing brotherhood with all Israelis who were all had delayed flights. Just awesome. Awesome experience. That wasn't all captured, but it's good about <coughs> sitting on the plane. Alright, after waiting literally 40 minutes uh, in that line, we're on a bus to the plane. A bus plane. A plane bus. Uh, <laughs> So, okay, first a couple of pieces of news, but the craziest thing happened. I'm in seat 14 e and I come, and here's my boy down the grass. Just, just, just sitting near me, like right now. Trippy as anything. Do you have 10 hours in Moldova? I have 10 hours, exactly. You know, I could have. Exit seats. This guy's sitting near me. Oh, please. I did, uh, I need a shot. Yeah, yes. My face is not uh, look like. <laughs> and this guy, and my guitar is just up there. Nobody said anything. It's Shefa, Montgomery, uh, Exit Row. The shit is just like, I don't know what it's saying. Thank you, 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 thank you. This is turning into an absolute madness. We boarded the plane and now we deplane with our stuff because someone was smoking a cigarette by the plane. I called this to Sigalia. What I didn't explain very well in the video is that we were all sitting on the plane ready to take off. I was already sleeping and an announcement came over the intercom that said everyone get your stuff and get off the plane. Turns out I saw later on the news uh, there were a couple Hevra who saw the door open. They went out to smoke a cigarette uh, which turned into a scuffle with the flight attendants and they ended up getting arrested and spending uh, a month and a half in prison in Moldova. Anyway, as you see here, we ended up going back to the terminal and got on the plane a second time, um, which Baruch Hashem ended up working out. Thanks for, for watching. I'm on Rosh Hashanah 5780 2019. It's a pretty serious one. Awesome. I give up some of that energy. Chaim Abracha, Shaif Shabbos, Good Shabbos.